warriors. Woo! <laughs> Glory to God in Jesus' name. I am Corinne Graham, also known as a Purpose Warrior. And I am before you today with another prophetic word. All glory to the Most High God in Jesus' name. What I heard the Father say is there will be sudden shifts and sudden moves. But remember who is your God. There will be sudden shifts and sudden moves, but remember who is your God in Jesus' name. Before I get into this word, I want to welcome each and every one of you tuning in today. Glory to God. I send you all the blessing in Jesus name. If you clicked on this video today, you didn't click on this video by chance nor coincidence. But if you showed up today, you showed up on purpose for a purpose and you will not leave this video today empty handed in Jesus name. Regardless if you catch this word when it is first released or it stumbles down your timeline in the future, know that this is a living word of the Most High God. And when it comes across your path, it is for your direct time and for your perfected time because the Father will align it all in Jesus name. So let's get to this word. There's a specific way that I am to release this word. Glory to God. And so I know it's not going to be for everyone. There are times where the father will just let me flow. And then there are times where he will strategically show me how to release this, how to release a word. And this is one of those words in Jesus name. So bear with me, flow with me. The father brought me back to the story of Gideon. Now you can go and read the story of Gideon for yourself. It's in Judges 6 through 8. But he really highlighted verse seven, chapter 7 verses 9 through 18. And I'm going to read all of those verses at the end of this video. But first I'm going to set a foundation and I'm going to share with you all what the father shared with me. Then I'm going to close it out in the word in Jesus name. So the father was showing me there are about to be some sudden shifts and some sudden turns, but it's important that we remember who our God is, that we serve and reverence the father the same way in the ending that we did in the beginning. Glory to God. And so just a little history on the story of Gideon and the time that Gideon was birthed. Mm -mm -mm. Gideon was birthed. He was spoken over. His purpose was released. His purpose was birthed and released. Thank you, Holy Spirit. During a time that the Israelites had been in captivity, in bondage, in oppression, in slavery for seven years. And the Israelites were crying out to the father for release. And in this, after the seventh year, the father heard them. And he answered their prayer by going to Gideon. And speaking purpose over Gideon, catch it in the spirit. And when the father went to speak purpose over Gideon, although Gideon seen himself as the least of them all, he seen his father's house as the least of them all. The father spoke life into Gideon and he called Gideon a mighty man of valor. And valor is great courage in the face of danger, especially in battle. So here it was, the Israelites, the people of God were crying out for release. And as they were crying out, the father gave them his yes and amen when he went and spoke purpose over Gideon. And when the father went to speak purpose over Gideon, Gideon himself did not even see himself in the correct way. He didn't see himself as the father seen him. And so the father quickly began to train Gideon and he trained Gideon in increasing by increasing his confidence. He trained Gideon by letting Gideon know, help me, Holy Spirit, that he was in fact hearing from the most high God. 
And he did this because Gideon would ask the father for confirmation and the father would instantly send it. And he did this over and over again until the end when it was time for Gideon to walk out the fullness of his purpose and to go into battle. Him and the 300 valiant men. And I thought it was so beautiful the way the father highlighted this to me. Before he could send the 300 men with Gideon, Gideon had to first understand that he was created as a leader to be a mighty man of valor. So when he sent the 300 men after that, valiant means possessing or showing courage or determination, brave, fearless, courageous, bold, confident, determined, resolute. So he had to show Gideon who he was as a leader. Then he sent the 300 men. And because Gideon was called to be a mighty man of valor, the 300 men the father sent and strategically placed with Gideon on assignment, they were valiant too. Because when the head is right, then everything follows. Help me, Holy Spirit. What the Father was showing me is there are others. There are people tuning into this channel. There are warriors tuning into this channel. And they are the answer prayer for the people of God. And they may not see themselves. They're not seeing themselves correctly. They see themselves for what's been spoken over them, what the world has highlighted to them, what situations have highlighted, what their history has highlighted. But God has called them out in purpose for a time such as this because he has chosen them to be used and he has chosen them to be used strategically just like David was a sheep herder. He was least likely. He has chosen you. Mm. The father chose me when he called me to be a purpose warrior. The least likely out of my father's house. The smallest of them all. But when the father began to open my eyes to what he had called me to be. What he had named me. The new name that he was giving me. It set everything else in motion. And so you are being brought out suddenly and soon. And you are being brought out to show others how to be a mighty man of valor, a mighty woman of valor, how to be confident in battle. And when, what the father was showing me is the battle he was highlighting to me it is not the battle between flesh and blood, but the battle between faith over fear. Mm. And so as you go out and you see the father confirming these words for you and you know it's no coincidence, it's because the father needs you to be able to see him and hear him from the beginning to the end. He needs your spiritual eyes in tune, your spiritual ears in tune. He needs your heart in alignment with his will, his word and his way. See, Gideon in the beginning asked for confirmation after confirmation, sign after sign, and the father was faithful to give it to him. But it was the last sign the father highlighted to me in Judges chapter 7 verses 9 through 18, where the father blew Gideon's mind. He made it clear as day, so much so that after that, Gideon seen himself in the light, in the way the father had seen him. And it bolstered up his confidence. And him and the 300 men went out into battle. And they defeated 135 soldiers, 135 men who raised a sword. They took out princes and kings. They were the ones used to help free the Israelites. 
And the beauty of it is 300 of them went out into battle against 135,000 and 300 of them entered into victory where 135,000 people have fallen. Mm. The father is going to send you out. And he's going to call those to you. And you're not going to be big in number. See, I never needed to be big in number. I always ask the Father, just send me my 300. Send me those 300 purpose warriors that are willing to go out there and through love and faith spread the gospel. Mm. Because through that, I knew victory Victory would come and freedom would come and release would come for generations to come. And so it's important now that you have found yourself in this place, you're either in this place where you know what you know, what you know, you know what you've seen, you know what you've heard, you know, it's your time to go out and put your hand to the plow. Remember. No matter how big these victories are, you are always to stay in tune with the Most High God. You are to continue the way you started, to seek the Father for clarity, to seek the Father for confirmation. Even when you're in tight places to pause, David knew to pause. Even when he was in pain, he knew to go to the father and ask him, shall I go up? We have to continue to keep the father at the center warriors. And so this is very important. This is very important that you don't move too soon and suddenly without first consulting your God. Because Gideon dropped the ball. He was so confident that he stopped asking for confirmation and it was at that moment that what happened was he began to turn the Israel he turned back to his old ways and he called after he died there was no honor left behind for him his children weren't honored he wasn't honored and the Israelites went back into captivity so we have to be mindful of how we move in this time in Jesus name and so I'm going to read Judges chapter 7 verses 9 through 18 and this is going to speak to somebody today and what the father was showing me is if you've been coming to this channel and you've received confirmation after confirmation you've received clarity then that means that you are here on purpose for purpose that means that you too have been called to be a purpose warrior and so I'm looking forward to seeing you at the I Am a Purpose Warrior Masterclass on Tuesday, January 30th, 2024 at 7 p.m. live. It is exclusive to my mailing list members. And you can go to my website, www.corinnegram.com. Join my mailing list. You'll be receiving an exclusive VIP invite to this masterclass because it is in this masterclass that I'm going to be able to share with all of you what the father shared with me in the importance of being a purpose warrior. So let's get to this word. Judges 7 verses 9 through 15. It happened on the same night that the Lord said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have delivered it into your hand. But if you are afraid to go down, go down to the camp with Pura, your servant, and you shall hear what they say. And afterward, your hands shall be strengthened to go down against the camp. Then he went down with Pura, his servant, to the outposts of the armed men who were in the camp. Verse 12. Now the Midianites and Amalekites, all the people of the east, were lying in the valley as numerous as locusts, and their camels were without number as a, as a sand by the seashore in multitude. 
And when Gideon had come, there was a man telling a dream to his companion. He said, I have had a dream. To my surprise, a loaf of barley bread tumbled into the camp of Median. It came to a tent and struck it so that it fell and overturned and the tent collapsed. Then his companion answered and said, This is nothing else but the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel. Into his hand, God has delivered Midian and the whole camp. And so it was when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and its interpretation that he worshiped, he returned to the camp of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord has delivered the camp of Midian into your hand. He rose in confidence because the goodness and the faithfulness of the Most High God to search his heart. See, the father said, if you have any fear, then go here. That's how compassionate he is because he needed Gideon to be decided. He needed Gideon's mind to be made up. He needed Gideon to know that he wasn't going into this battle, into this war alone, but he was going with the father going before him and being his rear guard. He was going, understanding he was fighting a battle of the most high God, not him fighting with his earthly manly hands, but that there was a supernatural move of the most high God. It was no coincidence that the father told Gideon to go where he told Gideon to go at the exact time that the man and his companion were speaking of his name because he's the father's already sent out our name into the land. People already see us coming. The father has already showed them, showed us to them in the spirit. And so I know what I've been called to do. I know what I've been trained to do. And I know who I have been called to, to serve and to show them what the father has showed me. And so this is an exciting time and we can't miss it. But we have to remember, even as we begin to see these great victories, even as we begin to see the spirit of darkness fall, the spirit of religion fall, the spirit of fear fall, the spirit of pride fall, it's important that we still continue to seek the Father for our strategy and how we should move and where we should move, even when things are happening quickly. Mm. Because it's the generations behind us that are counting on us to close this thing out in the way the father intended for it to be closed out. In Jesus name, somebody catch it in the spirit. If this word blessed you, then I just ask you plant the seed of a thumbs up, plant the seed of an amen in the comments, plant the seed of subscribing, plant the seed of hitting the bell, plant the seed of sharing this with someone else you think may need to hear it, plant the seed of joining my mailing list, plant the seed of showing up to the live free masterclass, I am a purpose warrior, you're gonna know that you are supposed to be there because the father is going to show you. And I don't care if it's just me and one other person on the screen. I will never forget the power of the one because I remember the day when the father left the 99 for me. Mm. And whoever shows up, (laughs) you will be blessed as will I. I love you warriors and I will talk to you soon in Jesus name. Be purposeful and be blessed with the time that you have left. Monitor the fruit of your spirit and monitor the fruit of those around you. I love you, warriors. Talk to you soon.